Hello Sunshines and welcome to Short Game Saturdays. Today Bon and I are playing Don't Starve by STVR. If you would like to follow Bon, check out the link to their channel below. This game was part of Vigio's bundle for racial justice and equality. Don't Move is a game about ninjas, failure, lutative narrative dissonance, and player investment manipulation. The game seems simple enough, but the more you move, or try to move, things get a little bit complicated. Warning, this video does contain strong language. Discretion is advised. Now, without further ado, let's get started. All right. All right. So, All right. You, you can see? I can see. All right, let's I see. I don't know if I can hear, so oh, well, <laughs> we'll find out, I'm sure. Yeah. Okay. All right, can you hear? Yes, I can hear. Oh. Um. What are the parameters? Like, that's do you what just I, wait? I, I, that's what I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> 500 distance? Oh, d does your movement mess with the candles? I don't know. I can't really tell. Yeah. How long is this game? <laughs> I don't know how to play it. I don't know what you're doing either. I don't know what- what the hell is happening? I don't know. Oh, my computer just froze. Okay, this is a 39 minute game. How? I don't know. I got a medal. Yeah, you're almost to 15 medals, which is what you're supposed to get to. Hey, look at that! Woo! <laughs> just do more moving! <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Just do the opposite of what it wants us to do. Right. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Got it. Love it. We need to get to level 10, level 10, level 10! Let's do this! Dying? I'm good at that. I could totally level up by dying. Right. I don't know if I can stand 39 minutes of this. <laughs> I mean, it's like a cookie clicker, clicker game. That's true, yeah. I wonder what the different color, color medals mean. Yeah, I, well it's like bronze, silver, gold. Green. And then green. But like, what's black and then green? I'm such a good ninja. You're <laughs> the best ninja. Just smashing through. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. Ooh. Oh god, now we have to get coins? <laughs> I can do it. <laughs> yes, give them to me. How do you get medals, though? Like, what's the... No idea. I don't understand anything about this game. I don't either. Your guess is as good as mine. Hey, look! We got red metal now. And just spend some time. Uh, and. In a distance in metals, we got 22 metals. Like, just the nth degree. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I guess that's like the point of it is to be annoying. Well, I'm sure there's gonna be some kind of meta humor to it. Yeah. I, I wonder if, like, nobody's ever, like, if there's like one person who has never gotten past, like, the five, four or five attempts or whatever. Well, let's see. Uh, move left or right, but as you try and as you fail to move, you unlock more of the game's mechanics. With each new element comes new challenge and new reward. <laughs> cool, I get to have trophies now. Nice. Uh, trophies for what? <laughs> for dying? For, for dying. I die so excellently. This feels like a joke about, like, people developing games and trying to decide what kind of mechanics to have to it. And they're right, like, so just, just like, put them all. Yeah, keeps adding mechanics for no reason. This is also very, um... What's that thing when, like, like your screen is so cluttered? Like, there's uh, too much, like, visual noise, you know? Yeah. Like, at some point, it, like, covers up the entire screen. Like, especially all the times that you level up. I wanna see... what happens after I get trophies. Well, you've already got one trophy. I don't know how I got it. I don't know, either. Listen, keep an eye on my trophies and see when okay. one pops up. Alright. You haven't even gotten a new medal yet. <laughs> I mean, I do like that... The experience, experience at least, for like leveling up does increase over time. Mm -hmm. This would be leveling up like every five seconds. Mm -hmm. Ooh, you got new blue metals. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. But so far, no trophies. Just the one. Just the one trophy. Okay, there's actually 
uh, a tutorial on how to get the trophies. <laughs> is it staying still? <laughs> uh, one is push and hold left until trophy is unlocked. That might be the trophy I already have. Maybe. Okay, so the next one is uh, move left until destroyed and move right until destroyed equally. Left explode, right explode, left explode, left. Oh, there we oh, go. Look, trophy. you got another one. Okay, so that must be the one moving left. Okay. So, so now... then you you move left until you're destroyed and then you move right till you're destroyed and you just do left, right, left, right, left, right. Okay. What? What? What just happened? I don't know. <laughs> what? Your trophies are gone! No. <laughs> No. Did the game crash somehow? I don't know. <laughs> okay, so you got that one. Uh, so I guess that one was uh, unlocked by collecting coins. Okay. Uh, so yeah, it's... That's so weird, because then you lost some of your medals, too. Yeah, I don't know what happens. It's broken. Maybe I hit a button. Maybe, yeah. I think what it is, is I might have hit like a restart button. Right, yeah. And um... And um... It only saves every time you get a new mechanic. Right. I feel like I've been going left and right pretty equally for a while now. Yeah, this is weird. So, try doing that left one again, and then if you do the same thing with your right, or it's just like, you keep going left until you get a trophy, and then you keep going right until you get a trophy. Okay. Um, those are both trophies. And then there is one where you do not move until the trophy is unlocked. <laughs> we can do that as a little break. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Oh, you know what? <laughs> maybe maybe what? it's like you have to go left until you level up and get a trophy. Oh. Right until you level up, get a trophy. Maybe. And then right, left, right, left until you get a trophy and level right. up. Maybe. Let's hey, see. Look. The blue ones are back. Woo. Yep, yeah. there we go. So that's what it is. Okay, now we just sit here. <sighs> Interesting, huh? Yeah, <laughs> this is ridiculous. Oh, I love it though. <laughs> okay, so do 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 do. I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit though, cause mm -hmm. it is kind of loud. Okay, so there's one where obviously this one where you stand until you get a trophy yeah but there's one where you stand in front of a candle and you completely block it with your body like none of it can show through mm. um that's a trophy Yay, hey trophy. and then there's one where you uh oh my god there's a ghost <laughs> ghost that was weird i wonder if this counts as blocking it out completely i mean the flame doesn't show uh, completely block the flame or it won't work. So I don't think the glow counts. Well, let's see. Oh, 
Well, what's the zenith? Okay. As a category such as attempts is completely maxed out, the fastest to achieve is trophies since we know how to obtain all trophies. Once we maxed out trophies and distance, the game begins to alter itself to help with the other zeniths easier. For example, when distance is done, we can barely move, increasing the rate that attempts grows. Once attempt it, attempts is maxed, our experience will gain significantly higher. Okay, so it's just basically until we get all of the medals. Or, hmm. like, we get all the trophies, we get all the medals. We, I, I, at some point, so... Level 1 is trophies, 2 is distance, 3 is attempts, 4 is levels, because it maxes out at 63 for some reason. Coins is 1,048,575. Very specific. That's going to take forever. Metals is 31, uh, which is a prime number. How does that work? <laughs> I... This is kind of funny, but it weirdly reminds me of, um, um, oh god, what is it called? Markiplier played it, and it was such a, like, sad, dark game. Um, um la, 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 la. Uh, let me look it up while I'm standing in front of this candle waiting for <laughs> a trophy. Um, present, was it Presentable Liberty? <laughs> Yeah, okay, so, um, Presentable Liberty, um, which, uh, you don't want to play unless you're going to be wanting to be very sad. Same with mm -hmm. Exploitable Money, which is the prequel. Um, <laughs> and essentially in, in, in Exploitable Money, um, you have, like, you just get more and more mechanics to make more money. Mm -hmm. Um, and it kind of just, like, ends up becoming such, like, a visually chaotic thing to look at. Um, right. and it kind of reminds me of this, but this doesn't have <laughs> that story. Because the story is quite sad. Mm. Yeah. But it's very good. I'm really confused. Like, am I... Am I don't I, know. I don't I know if you're covering up the flame or not. Yeah. I'm just gonna wait until like I level up and see. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh push and hold left and right at the same time until trophy is unlocked. Uh and then the last trophy is when you've unlocked all the other trophies, you get a trophy for getting all the trophies. Cool. Yeah. Mm. What I love is like games like this. It it you just wouldn't think about it. Like right. if, it it doesn't feel like something someone would think about and be entertained by. But obviously, <laughs> someone came up with it. Right. And um, and it is entertaining. It's just wild how brains work and they come up with stuff like this and it's different and unique. I want to see if it shows you how many downloads this game has had. It's only a dollar. Like, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Uh, Okay, don't move roguelike edition. Interesting. If you pay $60 or more. No, thank you. Uh, there's... As of this recording, which is February 25th um, of 2023, there are 449 remaining free copies. Hmm. But it does not tell me... Out of how many? Out of, like, well, out of how many, um... Overall, uh... Okay, I didn't get a trophy. Okay. I wonder if like there's a like a particular flame you have to stand in front of. It, I don't. It doesn't say, but it doesn't tell me. It doesn't tell me how many downloads it has for this. Like how many times this game has been downloaded. So.
Ah, oh, shit, I messed it up. Uh oh. Okay, damn it. You got a trophy for something. No, I got the trophy for um, holding the, the t no holding the. Team. Oh, let okay, okay, okay. I missed that. So I was trying to figure out downloads. Yeah. I wonder if it's on Steam and if Steam tells you okay. how many times it's been downloaded. There, there we go. I got that. Okay, one. you got it. Okay. Okay. So I'm cool. missing. I'm missing two trophies. I'm assuming one of them is standing in front of the candle. Yeah, that's the standing in front of the candle one. So, I'd, like, somehow you have to block the flame entirely. Or it's a specific candle. Or it's a sp It just says, Stand in front of a flame and do not move until trophy is unlocked. Completely block the flame or it won't work. And I don't see the flame, I just see the glow. I don't know if it's possible to cover the glow, because it also the glow also goes above your head. Yeah. So how are you supposed to do oh, that? There we go. Yay! And 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 Ooh. Yeah. Okay, this one is distance. So we have to get to thirty-two thousand seven hundred and sixty-seven. Okay. <laughs> it just keeps going. <laughs> I love that I'm yellow now. Yep. I've gone yeah. Super Saiyan. Yeah. Or Super right. Sonic, depending on your fandom. Alright. Theme, tell me, how many times has this been downloaded? Coming soon. That's weird. This release date was July 12th, 2016 on Steam. But it says the game is not yet available on Steam. Oh, it could be that they um, backed out or something like that. It's a possibility. Yeah, it's not telling me anything about this game. So, but I do have 201 items on my uh, wish list, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Yeah. Oh, uh, Paper Lily Chapter 1 is supposed to come out sometime this year. Oh, yeah. Don't know when. Um, I have Slime Rancher on here for some reason for four dollars. It's because you and Ibby were talking about it. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, that would explain. And then I have a bunch of gay games. So, ooh, yeah, that's right. I have Cozy Grove, but um, not right now. <laughs> I'm I'm kind of getting back into that place where. It's that time of year where I'm like, mm, I want to play Last of Us. Oh, yeah. But, um... Summer it, classic. Well, it's not It's not necessarily a summertime thing. It's just that yeah. once a year, yeah. every year, I get the urge to replay it from start to finish. So... Well, if you figure out how to record for it, do it for two days play... Yeah, um, well, not in my current setup right now. Yeah. But eventually I would like to do that. And then eventually mm -hmm. I would like to actually play uh, The Last of Us Part 2 about it. And then I could rant to you about how <laughs> much worse it is. Yeah. I am hearing, mi well, for the most part, I'm hearing positive things about the show. Yeah, that's I, what I've only heard positive things. But I, I've seen also... some. I've seen some people who, after the pilot, were like, uh, "Everyone's praising it," and I, I like, did they watch the same mess that I did? But like, people said that about the Mandalorian. Yeah, like... that's that's <laughs> the thing. Like, there's always those people that, regardless yeah. of like how good or something is or not, they will say mm -hmm. it regardless. Right. So, um, but in general, the overall opinion that I've heard has been good. Mm -hmm. Um, and I will say that Nick Offerman playing Bill is also a very good choice. Yeah, like, I, I think I was talking to one of the kids in the writing group, um, and how they were, like, they thought uh, Nick Offerman was just, like, a fantastic choice for Bill, and I'm like, yeah, it's so much better than who I... I just remember vehemently hating the person that they chose. Well, it was for Bill. It was supposed to be um, the guy who played Izzy Hands. Oh yeah, because he was so tiny. Yeah, and I. Yeah. 
And, um... And actually, it's funny, because, like, some people didn't understand why I was upset about that. Now, l let me be clear. I actually don't know if that was a genuine casting or not. Right. The articles that were, were saying it would be him were presenting it as though it was a confirmed casting. And I remember reading those articles and being upset because... Um... Because the people are like, oh, it's not like he's stealing a gay role. Like, he's done, uh, he's done, like, lots of gay shit before. And I'm yeah. like, no, that's not the issue. The issue is, is that Bill is canonically a bear. Yeah. And that's so rarely seen in media. Um, and, like, like, and it's to the point where, like, in the original, like, one of the making of The Last of Us... Um, documentary videos or whatever they did mm -hmm. um, they interviewed a guy who said that he originally went to work for Naughty Dog because he he was like really touched by the fact that they created a gay man like Bill because he's like that's the first time I'm, I've, I've ever seen anyone who looks like me right. on, in a game a gay yeah. man like me and that's why I was upset by the casting of, like, Izzy Hands as Bill. Right. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, according to winteriscoming.net, which is a completely fan-run site, if you mm -hmm. couldn't guess by the fucking name of the fucking <laughs> website. Uh, so, keep that in mind. But this is the first thing that pops up of who was supposed to play Bill in The Last of Us. And it is Con O'Neill, who yeah. is Izzy Hands fantastic actor oh amazing. wonderful human being he is not bill he is yeah. a teeny tiny little man <laughs> he could have played frank yeah he could have played frank really well actually yeah but he um like i think that was like as much as i love i love con o'neill i fucking hate izzy but <laughs> yeah. i love con o'neill I could never support him as, as Bill. Yeah. I could never be able to do that. Like, if they and had come out, if they had come out and said that, oh, he's playing Frank, Bill's lover. Oh, I just die immediately now? That's it? Uh, yeah, they're supposed to get harder and harder. So, the next one, sorry, I'm looking at Con O'Neill's face. Yeah. Um, is attempts. So... Well, uh, you have to get to 2,047 attempts. All right. Well, I'll just hold down. Yep. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Um, like, I think if they had come out and said, hey, he's going to play... Con O'Neill is going to play Frank, Bill's lover. Right. I would have been like, mm, a, a plus choice. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, and like, that... That's what gets me, too, about, like, all the people who are saying it's, like, the bury your gaze trope. Which, like, Frank wasn't in the game. No, he was already dead. <laughs> yeah, he was already dead but by the time the game took place. Like, you could so, literally find his corpse. Yeah. So, for me, like, even though this is very... It, it is... It is a very sad but heart... Like, it's, it's a bittersweet love story. Mm -hmm. And... To have two gay characters who are deeply, deeply in love with each other, like, I think that's more pivotal to me than just not having Frank at all. Because, and, and also, like, in the game, Bill just ne does not exist anymore. Yeah. Like, you have that one part with him, that one section, and then you never, we never see him again. Yeah. So this is a great. This is closure, as yeah. far as I'm concerned. Like, like it, this is a great. Um, this is like a great way to close his story it, without it, leaving it up in the air. And it's a. It's it's not a bad deviation from the game. Yeah. Um. Like, I would have. I haven't seen the episode or the series play out, so I can't speak to how it fits as a greater whole. But right. as a basic premise, 
that is not a bad way to deviate from the original story. Um, and I, they could say, oh, Barry, you're gays, because Bill was alive in the game. But, right. like, I think that Bill being alive and completely miserable yeah. Um, versus, like, Bill making an active choice to die with the person he loves most in the world... Right. I think that the the level of control that is given in the latter says a lot more than the first. Right. Like he made a choice out of love to be with the person, the only person who had touched him in a long time. Right. So um, that's more meaningful to me than just leaving a sad gay man. <laughs> the fucking school bus. All by himself. All by himself. <laughs> I actually really wish that in The Last of Us Part 2, we could have, like, heard how Bill was doing. Right. Just, they, like, even as, like, a fucking credit scene, you know? Or, or just, like, <laughs> hey, I got a letter from Bill. Yeah. He's telling me to eat my veggies. I'm like, ha ha ha, very funny. Yeah. I think this game some... is nonsense. <laughs> I, I know, right? <laughs> um. Oh man, I still remember like there was someone who was making, like, saying The Last of Us was problematic because Ellie was fat phobic and making fat jokes about um, Bill or something, and I'm like, she's twelve. Yeah, she's like twelve years old, and. Honestly, like, she probably does not know any better insults to make for for Bill. <laughs> right. And this was also at the time where Joel was just, like, not, not wanting to be a parent again. Yeah. He was still a little touchy. Yeah. So it's like, this is not my job. This is not my responsibility. My responsibility is to get this kid across the country. Yeah. It is not my job to parent her. But yeah, I I would be interested in watching the show, but I just want to wait for it for a while. I I would rather like stuff like that. I rather just wish it would end. I hate this whole like new episode a week bullshit. Oh, so you would like rather binge it in one go? Right. Yeah. I want to know exactly what happens at, in, in one day. Well, that's binge like, culture, thanks to Netflix. Yeah. I mean, I was like that before. Like, any time that there was, like, uh, a 12-hour run of a particular show, I was watching it. <laughs> and I don't think Netflix had quite started that. I think it was... Uh, it was when DVDs of shows had become stupid popular. Um, before Netflix really took off. But it, it just made it easier for me to digest stuff, because it's like, I don't want to have to wait for this shit. <laughs> I want to know what happens now. I still can't get over how quickly I went through, like, what, seven, se seven series of Star Trek. Yeah. Like, I will admit, that was kind of insane. Yeah. I mean, the last show that I watched the new episode of every single week um, was uh, Winter Soldier, and, or Captain America Winter Soldier. Mm. Uh, and that was because I was watching it with Stephanie. Mm. Um, and Stephanie was all about the Marvel. And so the only reason I've watched any new Marvel is because of Stephanie. And I, for obvious reasons, haven't watched anything else. Uh, I also don't have a Disney Plus subscription, so <laughs> there you go. Um, but where was I going with this? Um, I have found that I get really excited when a YouTuber posts a new video. Like if they have like a weekly series or something, mm -hmm. I get really excited about that series. Yeah! Nice. Oh, dang. That was huge. Okay. Um, 
This one, I think, is leveling up to level 63. So... Man, you have this, so far to go. <laughs> this game is wild. Yeah. Like, I can't believe it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's, it's only, a great... You know, it's what? only been 35 minutes. It doesn't feel like it. I thought this was gonna... I honestly thought this was gonna take forever. But it does not feel like it's been 35 minutes. Yeah, it's it's been 35 minutes according to the recording. I, you know, that's the magic of clicker games. You lose time? That you lose so much freaking time. Like, I think there was a clicker game... Well, so, like, I, I like clicker games in theory. Like, there is a, um... In the racial justice, uh, bundle, there is a game called Flufftopia or something like that. Yeah. And it starts off as a clicker game. Where you just like you get happy points or something like that, mm -hmm. and I believe it's on my channel. I don't remember. Um, I'm pretty sure I put it on my channel. I don't. Uh, but it was really fun, and I was like, I was getting so into like the clicker aspect of it that when it switched to a completely different type of game, I was disappointed <laughs> <laughs> that it wasn't a clicker game. <laughs> but, um. I went looking for something that was like Flufftopia. Yeah. But I couldn't find it. Like, uh. it was all just like. Uh. It was like all of it was passive, because like a lot of the clicker games are pretty passive, because they, they're meant to run while you're not typically paying attention. Mm -hmm. But it didn't have the same feeling. Like, it just felt like. Uh. It was just a little... Uh, my, the one I found was like dwarves mining for gold, right? Because um, of course I would find that one. <laughs> and uh, the dwarves were just kind of running around, mining their gold, putting in the minecart, the minecart goes back up, and I get my minecart money. Uh, and it was just doing that over, in there, over there. But there was something... I cannot put my finger on it, but there was something just functionally different about Flufftopia that I really, really liked. So, but I cannot explain to you what it was. So, random thought. You were saying that, like, most um, click game, clicker games are just, like, meant to rant, run passively in the background. And right. My immediate thought was, do you think that's what inspired Bitcoin? Of course. Because in Bitcoin, Bitcoin mi mining is supposed to be something that you could just passively do in the background. Yeah. <laughs> so was... I, I actively, like, while I was doing that dwarf game, I actively had this thought of, like, is this Bitcoin? Is this how Bitcoin works? Should I actually be looking for stuff that makes me money? And I'm like, no, this is a slippery slope, and I'm not willing to ride this ride. I mean, <laughs> not that, like, not that crypto coin is doing so hot right now anyways. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you know anything about stock markets or whatever, you more power to you, but also you're killing the environment. Happy happy trails, man. Yeah. I just like you're... I think like the only reason that I kind of support cryptocurrency is that it's one of the few ways that sex workers are being left with the ability to get paid online. Right, yeah. Because um, so many more credit cards and like PayPal and other services like that mm -hmm. are like starting to like um, deny their services to like sex sites like um, Pornhub for example right yeah and so like the only way that they can get paid for their videos is cryptocurrency so yeah it's not really so much that I'm a fan of cryptocurrency as this is the only way these people will make a living and they absolutely deserve that yeah so um yeah not a great way to be like, yeah, okay, I support this, I guess. Yeah. I mean, if there was a... If there was something like Dogecoin that was specifically for sex workers, 
Uh, this one is coinage. Woo! So you gotta get to like a million that's, something coins. That's not gonna be a hard million. Now. Yeah, a million forty-eight thousand five hundred seventy-five coins. Yeah, not gonna be hard now. Yeah. Uh, the next one is medals, and which I, I think is like. I only have two left. Yeah. I don't so understand I guess... how I'm getting them, but. I don't. I think it's like a. I don't know what to tell you. I really don't. Maybe you get a medal for finishing the fifth zenith. <laughs> <laughs> and then it just takes you into time. And at that point, it's we're almost to the 4,095 uh, 4, second mark anyway. So... We would have you know been, I... been done this sooner if I hadn't accidentally reset. I mean, honestly, but even then, by only like a couple of seconds. Like, maybe a minute. Because we weren't technically that far behind, and I think we knew more of what we were doing mm -hmm. when you reset than we were prior to reset. Yeah, we absolutely did. Yeah, so... I, like, what I was about to say was, I like that there is a structure to this game. Yeah. Like, it didn't seem like it at first, it just seemed like it was just, just die over and over again for no fucking reason. But, there we go, and Ooh. now we have to get this trophy, which it just says you get, or you get 31 medals, and I'm not sure how you get those 31 medals, so. Well, I'm just gonna keep doing this. Yeah. But Cause... then again, it says time is 4,000... 95 seconds and yeah. we're already at 3900 so we're very very close so we could be getting that 31st medal it's interesting that it's 31 medals but i have two slots left well i think that we have to get the time medal in order to get the last medal like mm. But I don't know why it says metals, then time, if time seems to be the factor that we're trying to get. Well, I guess we'll see. Yeah. Because we're very close. Oh boy, aren't we ever. Yeah, Ooh. there we go. Oh, okay, that wasn't even... I am... And now we're... Yeah, we're do we did it. We won. Ooh. Oh wait, no. There's question mark now. R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R But yeah, no, I do like that there's objectives to this because it makes it less like um just like a random like no objective nonsense game. I'm gonna do I guess that makes sense why there's 39. I wanna see what happens if I hit R. Okay. So one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, eight. six, seven, eight. Nope, that didn't do anything. Okay. It says question mark, question mark, question mark up there. Um, unlock 16. All Zeniths have been unlocked and now we can move freely around the screen through still, still exploding on occasion. When the ninja moves past the black edge appearing on the other side, letters show up to indicate the direction scrolled. To get past this, unlock the ninja, move left and right in a specific order. By going off screen in this order, we complete this unlock. So it's left, right, left, left, left. Right, left. Okay, ho hold on. So left, right, right, left, 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 right. Left. Right. Left. Right. 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 Woo! <gasps> <laughs> We're in a new area! Wow. Okay. Uh, and this is the end. Uh, unlock 17. Uh, the screen now scrolls with a ninja and we can see two glass walls as well as staircases. On the right glass wall, there's a crack, meaning the wall is potentially weak. Before we end, though, let's get a star. By going to the left glass wall, we can make a QR code to appear. 
Hold your finger in the black area below the stairs. It may take a while, but eventually a QR code will show up. In plain text, the QR code reads, Dance to appease the star gods. L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-
It's a good thing I'm patient. Yeah, apparently, yes. Okay. <laughs> good game. Good game. GG. <laughs> Thank you for joining Bond and I for Short Game Saturday as we play Don't Move by STVR. If you enjoyed what you saw, please leave a like, a follow, and ring that notification bell so you know when the new episode drops. Also, stop on by our completely free Discord server to chat about games and whatever else is on your mind. I promise we don't bite that hard. Please refrain from any hate toward us or the game developers. The devs worked really hard to make this game happen and they deserve our support. Because anyone who just wants to explode with every step they take deserves all the support. That's all for now, folks. And we'll see you next time.